Hey siblings and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Tierra Griffin. I am so excited that you guys have decided to come back for another episode or another video with me. Um, Thank you for all of my new subscribers that have subscribed and joined the family. Make sure that you keep sharing these videos with those that you know may need to hear what I have to say, will like my advice, or whatever the case may be. Just continue to invite people so our channel can continue to grow. Um, make sure that you also send me suggestions of videos that you want to see so that we can get into some new topics, something that really talks to your heart really speaks to your heart from a godly perspective um make sure that's all also thank you for all of my season subscribers that were my foundation i really appreciate you guys i don't know if you know how much it means to a youtuber to have support and loyalty throughout this entire process of us growing so y'all will always be my a ones from day ones and all of that great stuff so i love you guys and i thank you for being here so today we will be talking about how to lose a man now i know it's like are we gonna talk about how to keep a man because we're gonna talk about how to lose a man because for valentine's day i saw a lot of women dt Ming. And I just want to add my five cents, not two, five. I got whole five cents on what I want to say about this topic because I was once them and I will tell you about my story and the outcome of it. So let's get into this video for today. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a real conversation. So I was watching a video with my best friends today and they showed me how there was this guy or this girl who really did um, all of these things for her her boyfriend boyfriend let's just start it there her boyfriend um, and she had rose petals all over the floor um, she had money almost like two grand sitting on the stand uh, she had four pairs of shoes all name brands I can tell they were a young immature couple because only immature couples do things like this and it's like it's no shade on you you know what i'm saying but you can tell their age not even their age but their mentality on these gifts and different things such as that she had the bathtub water ran for him and all of that and i was like ah. I can relate to her so much and I can tell you exactly what mind state and what uh, what was her mind state at that time mindset at that time because I did it too and the only reason why I did this for a guy in 2012 or third no maybe 2011 or 12 I did it because I really wanted that from way back in the day remember when I told you that I had a best friend or whatever she told me that I would never get my candlelight rose petal candy chocolates in a hotel room she told me that and I believed her so what I did is I went and did it for myself and I don't know if I was so much doing it so that he would take the hint but I guess I was like hey this is what I want if I do it for you this is what I want but let me remind you and put you on point never start something that you cannot finish if you started that's what you're going to have to continue to do in order to keep that person or to keep that thing continuously going but so like I said so what you start you have to finish and you know my model is God's ways God results so if you start this thing based on what you're doing you're gonna have to keep doing what you started in order to keep this relationship thriving whereas if you started on God it is God that is going to keep the relationship flowing and that's ultimately what you want but the reason like I said I did it in 2012 because that's what I always wanted so I was reenacting what I desired from this relationship I was reenacting what I wanted hello get the clue sir but he didn't. But so often I see women doing this and we're thinking this is going to secure him. This is what's going to make me the main. This is going to let him know that I'm serious. But what happens is we forget that you were or you are the gift. You are the gift to a man. Not him. He's not the gift. You shouldn't be gifting him. And I know we have, you know, our love languages and it's okay to get a gift. But this is not your husband. There's no guarantee that he's going to be with you. At least wait till you got a strong commitment like a ring. I mean, at the least. But so often we doing these for boyfriends that are uh, temporary. These temporary puppy love relationships. And that's exactly what it is. Puppy love relationships that won't end up making you the wife that you want to be. How do you be the wife? 
you already you you carry yourself like a wife you don't treat boyfriends like their husbands you're not supposed to be not even not supposed to be but if you want to really if you want to become wife sis you don't need to be cooking for him every day he got a hot meal you don't need to be buying him all these name brand things i know that this generation is all about name brands but what are you buying you sis like what is he doing for you for you to feel like I have to do all of these things. And then, when I saw the video, he came in there empty-handed. You know, we don't know the whole story of what he did before. But I am guaranteeing you that he didn't do all of that for her. And his response was, this is too much. This is too much. And he was right. This is too much. You are doing the absolute most. Now, when I get married, I'm still going to chemicate it to my husband. I might, you know, I'm going I'm to run your bath, give you a little massage, cook you a little dinner. I might even put a little steak on the fork and put it in your mouth after I dip it in some A1 sauce. Like, I may do it, but I, I want to feel like the queen. I want to make sure that my water is ran more often than your water being ran. I want to make sure that you put in rose petals out for me. Like, I won't put rose petals out for no man. Like, I... I'm the one that's walking on the rose petals, not you. I just feel like he was so emasculated in that moment. Like, literally, that's how I, I felt. I was like, he's not even a man anymore. Like, he's become a female that quick. And then he accepted it. Shame on you, sir. But it's not really shame on him because he don't know no better. He has no idea. He does not know any better. But a man that accepts that lets you know what level of man they're at. They are a boy. Y'all remember that show in that movie, Baby Boy? That's exactly what that is. And remember his mom coddled him. His mom kept him in the house. His mom was doing all of that for him. Y'all remember? And then he ended up getting a girlfriend that was coddling him too. He ended up being with the same woman that did things for him. But it wasn't until... I think she was just like, I don't even think that she even changed, which they probably gonna have more issues. Taraji and Tyrese gonna have even more issues because nothing was resolved. He didn't do anything to become a man. What, he almost got shot? And he was scared out of his mind? That ain't gonna make him commit to you. Fear don't make nobody commit to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. So, what I know to believe is men are hunters. And a man wants to go out there. They want to do the hard work. They want to be their men. Like they're, that their adrenaline is built on. Let me prove to you that I'm a man. Or let me show you that I'm a man. Look, look, look how strong I am. Look what I can do. That's what a man wants to do. They want to win a woman over. You know, not be given the title. They're very competitive. That's their nature. So let's say you have two men. One man goes out there goes hunting end up killing a buffalo let's go do something big because you know they like to do especially when women are watching you ever seen a man play different when he know women are in the audience watching come on they trying to show they trying to show you they trying to show you hey look look at me it's what it should be you are the give not him he that finds a wife finds a good thing a good thing a treasure you are the gift because you're the one that accepts the proposal but why are we out here overcompensating and saying, hey, guy, look at me. Choose me. Look, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, my God, look, I can do this. Why? That's because that's what's innate in us. That's how we've been trained, which I'll get to in a minute. But going back to the two men. So he went out there. He killed a buffalo. He brought it home. That woman going to be like, yes, baby, you did that. Look at that big buffalo. Nah, I never see nobody. You know, do it the way that you do. She starts praising him, and he likes that sound. Men are wanting a, a specific sound. They want a specific sound. They want to feel needed. They want to feel wanted. That's what a man is supposed to. That's, that's his nature. That's the nature that he is. So the other man, the woman, goes out there, and she goes and gets a buffalo, and she brings it to him. Who's getting the praise then? She is. It's going to be like, oh, wow. A man don't want you giving him nothing. He won't have that same that same pride and joy in the same buffalo that's his because you went out there and got it for him. And that's what's happening in our culture today and why we don't have a lot of real good men, why we don't have a lot of good men in our black community and why the boys that we're raising will never be men because we hindered them from being the very things that God wants them to be. 
Men were created by nature to be hunters. Men were created by nature to provide, to protect, and all of this. But you have moms out here that are coddling boys. Oh, he can't do that. Don't mess up your fingers. He's a boy, sir. Go play outside. Come in smelling like outside. Not in front of this TV. Go outside. Go play. Go bust your knee. Go bust your head. Like, because this is what this was makes him a man. Him falling and being able to get back up. But when he got chores, like, no, I'll do it for him. He's just had such a long day. He is a man. He's a man. Moms, you got to stop coddling these boys. He's a man because it's only you in the house. So he doesn't get that other uh, propensity. He doesn't get that other um, extreme of how his nature is supposed to be, how he's supposed to grow. Because all he has is the nurturing side. But there's no discipline. There's nothing to build him. There's nothing to strengthen him. There's nothing to correct him or be a template of who he's supposed to be. So we start coddling him. I don't feel like applications for boyfriends. I don't pick boyfriends up too much. Like if you have a car trouble here and there, okay. But if I got to pick, I guess what I did with the same guy. And we're not together. We're not together. He ended up going with the, another young lady that probably was the one that was telling him no. I didn't have no self-security. Everything was centered around him. One way to lose a man is to center your entire life around him. He said something to you, you just hurt. You falling all out all over the place. Sis, get it together. Be a woman. Be who God's created you to be and allow him to be who he's been created to be. You are a help meet to a husband. You're helping him to meet purpose and you're helping him to meet the goals that God has set before him. And when you cause somebody not to do what they were created to do, you stop them from worshiping. Get out the way, girl. Move, sis. Get out the way. Get out the way. Let him be who God's created him to be. Let him be who God's created him to be because if you do not allow him to be who he's created to be, there's going to be somebody else that's going to allow him to be who he's supposed to be. I remember my aunt gave me a book called Why Women, Why Men Marry Bees, B-I-T-C-H-A-S, whatever. And I was like, this book is a little too much, but it was showing how, and I'm going to maybe do a video about that next week, but it was showing how this woman that was like a boss but like a b how she didn't allow him to do certain things because she knew her value the world didn't revolve around him she said can i schedule you in here why men marry bees over doormats so let's say why men marry bosses over doormats because bosses are ones who are going to walk behind and support and help him to be everything he's supposed to be but a doormat is just something he stepped on to get to the next why do you think so many men be with these with really good girls that are really sweet? You're, you're sweet, but you're helping him to be weak. And it's pressure that burst pipes. And we not help him to burst nothing. We not helping him to achieve nothing. We not helping him to make these accomplishments and these great strides because it's just like, let me do it for you. And then he grows up to resent you or grows into resenting you because it's like, you didn't let me be who I was created to be. And then you become resentful because it's like, why he don't do this? Why he don't do that? You didn't give the man an opportunity to do that because as soon you, let's like, like Stockholm Syndrome or being MacGyver, before the person even knows that they have a need, you're out there already fulfilling it for him. Let him be a man. I, went, I don't know. I was trying to say something else, but I'm just, let him be a man. But we don't help men to accomplish and do these great things because we are trying to do it for them, trying to protect them from the world. No, they're supposed to go out there into the harm's way, into harm's danger on our behalf because God, Jesus laid down his life for us. And he is the, the, um, the bridegroom that our husband should be an example of and the church is the one that's protected. He's supposed to make sure that I'm spotless before God. He don't want me getting dirty. But most often we got men in the house while our hands are getting dirty. What you what we doing? We gotta stop that. But a doormat is something that he steps over. That's what I think I'm saying. To get to the open door. And we like, how come she got him? How come their relationship working? Because you were a doormat to get him to the next one. You were not created, sis, as a woman for him to. You were not created as a woman for him to. 
um, you to give him everything. Make him this great man, which he's not really a great man, but make him this person. And then for the next person, he goes out there and use all the skills that you've given him or shown him on what you wanted. And he goes to a woman that's going to allow him to act out all those things. It happened to me. I was like, yo, I did a lot for you. And everything that I put in him, every way that I raised a man, he went out and he did it for somebody else. Now, who wants that? That's heartbreaking. When you've given your everything to this person and then they go and give it to somebody else. I wanted you to do that for me. Come. If I'm talking right, please go into the comment section and be like, sis, that was me. Come on. I was like, sir, I'll, I'll fight you. I, I'll fight you. It was like, how? This is what you wanted, but you wanted it for you, but you were only a doormat. And this woman, he learned everything you taught him. Come on. He learned everything that you taught him. And then the other girl allowed him to act it out because he saw, okay, when I was doing this for her, this was, she was showing me, okay, well maybe this is what this girl wants. And she gives him the space to, because she's like, no, I'm not doing that for you. No, I'm not going there. No, we ain't doing that. She is a boss. You know what I'm saying? So, how do you get a guy, um, how do you lose a guy? So, another thing is, you give him everything, and you don't get nothing back. You're viewed as unvaluable. But you're valuable. You are the one. He should be proving himself to you, says you the queen. You the queen. You accept his engagement. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. And I'm not saying look down on people, but it's just like, know your worth. You don't lower your standards and make sure that he can fit. You don't make your crown smaller because his hands are too small. He just ain't the one, and it's okay. It's it's okay. You shall live. You shall. You shall live, okay? If you treat a boyfriend like a husband, you will never be wife. You won't be wife. You, it's, it's, some of them are exception to rules, but more often than not, you won't be wifey. If you treat him like a boy, like a husband before he even, that's what I did when I was in Chicago. I did everything and I did not get the ring that I was promised. But men want to feel needed and they want to feel wanted. But we don't give them to the space, the opportunity to feel wanted and to feel needed because we're doing everything. But it's not your fault. That's how you were raised. That's what you saw. You saw that this is what your mom did, what your grandma did for these men. And it was like, okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. No, no, that's not the way you're supposed to do that's They trained you up in the wrong way that you should go. You know what I'm saying? You were never meant to be this person. They want to hear the sound. Men want to hear you saying, baby, thank you. Baby, you know, I couldn't have done that without you. And it makes them want to do more. You know, they, they look for a sound. But so often we're fulfilling that sound and we end up burying the man. And again, causing him not to be who God has created him to be. You don't want that. You want him. If you love him, you want him to be everything. So if you got to tie your hands and get whole before you go into this relationship, you will never help him meet. You will never be a help me. To help him meet the things that God wants him to meet. You'll do it for him. You'll bring the buffalo on his front porch and be like, look, look what I killed for you, babe. And you know, you want to show interest and let him pursue you. Let that man run after you like, because if he, if you're pursuing him, that means that he's running. And if he's pursuing you, you're not, you're not being, and I'm not saying play hard to get. I'm saying be a queen. Sit on your throne. Let him come to you and show you, hey, this is what I can do for you. This is what I can do for you. But in order for him to do that, you got to be working with something too. You know what I'm saying? You got to be working with something too. You just can't be like, okay, you can give me all of this and you're not giving nothing back. Then you're a gold digger. What can you provide? Make sure that you're bringing something to the table as well. But just make sure you ain't bringing the table, the house, the chair, the silverware. Let him, let him, let him be at a higher caliber than you doing these things. I'm not saying have more money at a higher caliber. You want him to reach potential, you got to give him the opportunity to reach potential. He'll never reach potential as long as you coddle him and take away his responsibility and his very nature from being a man. He'll never reach it. And we want him to. We want to get men back into society being who they've been created to be. Give them that space. Say no. 
Make them chase you. Make them work. Make them jump. Blow your standards. That's another topic for another day. Like, like, like Soldier Boy say, standards? Talk about the thing that I said, he supposed to meet, jump up and reach, but he ain't reaching because I'm giving it to him? Standards? Oh, no, we don't drop them. We don't drop them. And lastly, the thing that we do is the reason why I feel like we give gifts to men in excess and doing the most is because we're looking for our gifts to provide security. I couldn't get my natural father. I think this is a, a differently a sign of being fatherlessness, fatherless because there was no form or template on how you were supposed to be treated. So you're out here trying everything and doing what your parent, your mom taught you, doing what you've seen other women do, that that becomes your very nature. You know, so I think it's it's a sign of being fatherless that we 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 do the most because we didn't get it. We didn't get it. So I'm trying to secure you. I'm trying to secure you by getting gifts. I'm trying to bribe you not to leave. And then I think that once you give this man these gifts, he out there cheating. I know he out with somebody else because he wants the woman that's going to say no. That's going to show that she has some kind of security and her identity is set. I believe that that guy in that video, I believe that he was cheating. Thank you. But I'm out here doing me. Because you didn't even let me commit. You didn't, you don't, you're not giving me anything to commit to. Because I know that I got you. Never let a man think that he got you in a bag. That you ain't going nowhere. And that's exactly what he believes when you do the most. Oh, she ain't going nowhere. I can do whatever. She'll be right here. She ain't going nowhere. Sir, you got another thing coming. You got another thing coming. Do you know what I'm saying? You got a... Who are you, who are you playing with? Okay. But I'm just saying. I really want to encourage my sisters because it's us that has to make the difference. We There's God created men and women to be differently. So we have to be the difference. Like we have to show this is a man and this is a woman. We have to show the, the God-given differences. And it's women, like men that bust sex. As long as women st keep allowing them to do that, as long as women continue to allow a man to be in the streets and then come home and sleep around and do this, they'll never become who they're supposed to be. But once we get whole and we stop accepting less, they're going to have to jump up and reach the bar. They ain't going to have no other choice. But there's too many of us out here like just, you could do me however you want to do me. I'll be here. You'll get it right one day. And then that one day come, and he's going to get it right for somebody else. Let it not be you. Okay? I love you. I'm going to tell you the truth, because it was me. Yeah. I know. So, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you thought this video was powerful, you go share this with a friend. Please. If you go share this with a friend, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you feeling me. In a comment. Leave me some questions. Let's start a discussion in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Because I, every, like, I'm telling you, the reason why we do this is because of a fatherless issue. And that was my issue. That was my issue. I couldn't get my daddy to stay. So I was trying to buy other men. Trying to buy that sound. Or I, I was getting the sound, not him. I, I, what was I going to tell him? Thank you, baby, for doing what? For doing what? He ain't did nothing. But I'm already giving him and lavishing him with everything. We got to cut that out. So let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Let me know any comments or any questions that you may have or what other topics you want me to discuss. Let me know you like this video again by hitting that thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social media um, platforms, Facebook and Instagram. I also have a workshop coming up if you're in the Charleston, South Carolina area. Um, March the 2nd at 10 a.m. Fatherlessness to Wholeness. I will have that link in the how to register and find out more information in the description section below. Uh, this was a great video and I hope that you'll be back next time for the real and raw with your girl. Because that's all I can give you. I want to do something fun so I'll be working on that. But you'll see. Love you guys. Love you siblings. Have an amazing Sunday and I'll see you next week. Bye.